Hello there, this is Frank. I'm Kat Davidson. If you've just joined us, you've missed a journey into a lifestyle that has brought one Miss Kirsten McCauley a great deal of joy and us a little bit of a view into something we hadn't perhaps thought of before. But don't despair. Joe Schaefer is the smoothest man alive when it comes to love. <laughs> Dirty Dancing fans have seen the awkwardness of I carried a watermelon. Joe takes it up a notch. Joe, you are, as I mentioned earlier, a man in, the, in a committed relationship. Committed relationship. Did you use that accent of yours for evil when you first reached our shores? I don't think it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think it hurt at all. Plus, if I've been drinking or I get excited, then it kind of kind of kind of twangs up, kind of twangs up a little bit. Gets a little gets a little more southern. Yeah. When I first met you, you were you, you a lot more southern on stage. Uh, yeah, I think I was. I'd, I'd get excited on stage, and then it kind of just kind of ramps up. Cowboy up. Just kind of take it up a little bit. <laughs> so did you? You were not single when you returned to America. So you've not seen whether you sounding normal would mean that you've you lose your edge. Uh, no, but it's there's a lot of uh, if you leave home and then you go and you go somewhere else for a while and then all of a sudden you come back you're both familiar and exotic uh, and that's very that's a nice that's a nice place to be. Have you ever been overseas and single and used your Australian accent to charm folk, Miss Kay? Uh, no, I, I, as I mentioned earlier, I'm quite awkward, so um, <laughs> I never really see myself as a charmer or a good flirt. Um, so yeah, while I and I haven't been overseas while single either, so that probably matters in the question. Hey, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think I did when I was in Canada and single the first time round. I I most certainly did, mm. and found myself really thickening my accent quite a great deal. Oh really? Some good yep. days and whatnot. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. G'day boys, how are you? Very sexy Australia. Now, Joe, uh, when you were, I have asked the important question, uh, is a watermelon racist? And there is a reason for that. Take, take us back to times of yore. Yeah. So, uh, so we're talking about love gone wrong. Yes. And so I can't talk about my current lady at all because she's perfect and wonderful and what could go wrong. You're um, a smart man, Joe. Hey, girl. Um, <laughs> so um, I had a, it was a long, I'm, I'm, I'm of an age now, but at the time I was, I was How 19. How old are you? Don't worry about it. Uh, I was, I was, I'm 32. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just said I'm 32. Yes, yeah, so you be careful saying of an age when you're dealing with people who are older than you. That's true. Um, well, we can all be, we can all be vague about how old we are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Show us your birth certificates. Carry, um, carry on. Uh, so I was 19, 20, 21 at the time. So I'm in, I'm in uni. I'm a, I'm a, a young adult. And, uh, and I just started dating a black girl for the first time. She was, she was very smart and uh, beautiful. And uh, all that, everything was going really good. And it was her, or really well, sorry, this is articulate. And then she was going to, for her birthday. She was from, we lived in Austin. She's going over to New Orleans for her birthday. She asked me to come with her. This is a big step for Meeting me to go. Yeah, gonna go meet the family. It's her birthday, we're taking a trip. It's a whole lot of big relationship steps all at once. And uh, I was gonna go, but I, I, on the way, I went from Austin to Crockett, Texas, which is in between, and then over to New Orleans, Louisiana. My dad, uh, my parents weren't together. My dad uh, had a farm, uh, very, very Texan of me. He had a very, he had a farm. Of course he did. Yeah, he had a farm in Crockett. I visited him for a couple of days and then he thought that I was gonna go back to Austin with all of my friends because uh, I didn't tell him about my neat black girlfriend because he's super racist. Uh, and so well, I, just, I just left it vague. And on my way out, he had just grown all of these watermelons, tons, tons and tons of watermelons uh, and all kinds of you know, fresh fruit and produce. And he's like, do you want all these watermelons? And I can't say no. I'm about to go back home to university. Who wouldn't want watermelons? We're going to cut them open. You pour Everclear inside. Then you cut them open you again. You pour what? You, you take a watermelon. Yeah. You cut a hole in it. You pour Everclear in it. Grain alcohol. Just vodka. You just pour vodka in there. <laughs> Uh, strong vodka, and then you put it in the See, freezer. See, it looks like a mouthwash or something. <laughs> oh, Everclear, it's grain alcohol. It's 99% alcohol. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. Here's a little How tip. How are you still alive? You pour it all into one big watermelon, and then you put it in the <laughs> freezer, and then yeah. you cut open the watermelon, and then you eat the, the boozy watermelon. It's, oh, it's fantastic. Wow. That's a little tip, everybody. Summer's coming. <laughs> um, pour booze into your watermelon. Kids. No, definitely try this at home. <laughs> if you're 18, Try this at home, um, for sure, 100%. And I was going to have four or five of these things. It would have been amazing. Uh -huh. But instead, what I did was I drove over to New Orleans to meet my cool black girlfriend and her mom uh, with all of these watermelons. Uh, now, this Isn't is... Isn't that 
a racial yes. thing Apparently, in uh, the U.S.? Uh, uh, black Americans are known for being really into uh, watermelon and, and fried, fried chicken, chicken and fruit flavored sodas. That is such a stereotype that you see in movies. And yeah, huge stereotype. Yeah. The thing is, it's kind of an unfair stereotype because everybody loves Who watermelon yeah. and chicken <laughs> and soda. Yeah. Everybody loves it. Everybody. <laughs> everybody loves those except things. Except weirdos. Yeah, except yeah. weirdos. Who wants exactly. to talk to non watermelon fried chicken? You don't chicken like people? watermelon? Get out. Yeah, Leave get out the of country. Here. <laughs> so you knew that this was potentially Yeah, but I figured here I am, I'm driving all the way here, uh, everything's going to be fine, I'm just going to, I'll wait, I'll, I'll go see my girlfriend, I'll meet her mom, and later on I'll be like, oh by the way, there's these watermelons, let's not let this be weird. <laughs> let's, just, let's just blow over the whole thing, why does this need to be weird? And then I drove for uh, eight hours or ten hours or however long it takes, it'd be like driving from Brisbane to Newcastle, or something like that, or Mackay, who knows. Um, long drive. Then I finally get there and it's uh, New Orleans, it was a game day, New Orleans Saints on. So imagine if it was a big Broncos game and there's all this traffic going on for that. So I get caught up in this town I've never been to before. It takes me forever to get to her house. By the time I get there, I'm all unfresh. I don't look, I don't look so great. I've been driving a long time. I'm tired. I get in there, I get inside the house and it's not just her and her mom in there. It's her whole family has showed up for her birthday. Tons cousins and aunts and uncles and there's like 25 black folks in a house and then just me just Did being you? like hi guys i just i just drove here from, from texas i'm here for the birthday uh and then i'm like you know what i spent all this time saying it doesn't need to be weird for us to have these watermelons and now there's all these people of course this is a perfect way for us to get rid of all these watermelons look at how many people we can all share these watermelons it's gonna be it's gonna be fine everything's gonna be fine and i say hey guys do you guys like watermelon? Silence. Oh. Just boom. Silence. Oh. Uh, and it was. It was. It didn't have to be weird, but it was. Totally um, weird. Yep. Uh, that, that being said, everybody took them because it was awkward not to. <laughs> and who doesn't like watermelon? Yeah, who doesn't like watermelon? These people are not weird. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't like watermelon? Exactly. Yeah. And then, yeah, that was, that was the whole awkward thing. That being said, we did spend the whole her birthday together. Uh, me and her mom got along just fine. Uh, on the way back, we, we had to drive in separate cars because we went back separately. And she said she left me for the first time. And so Aww. it wasn't that bad. And, well, we said it to each other. We said it to each other. So that was nice. That's a nice yeah. thing. Yeah. Did uh, she say, what the hell were you thinking with the watermelon stunt? Uh, <laughs> I think she would have preferred if I had just waited until everyone else was gone. Yeah. <laughs> just, just back to the original her and her mom scenario. Uh, or even better, uh, when I was driving through the swamps in New Orleans, I could have just pulled over, thrown all of the watermelons in the swamp and forgot that they ever existed. <laughs> I think that would have been good as well. If you could give one piece of advice, this is, this is tales of love uh, gone wrong and different ways of looking at love. If you could give one piece of love advice, both of you, to the love lawn watching at home, what would that be? Mm. Love yourself. Ooh. Nice. Mm, profound. Don't go to Catholic school. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you both very much for taking the time out to sit on the Frank couch this evening. Miss Kirsten, thank you. Thank you, Katrina. Mr. Joe, thank you. Thank you, Kat. My name's Kat Davidson. If you're looking for either of my guests, Joe Schaffer, you have a website. I it do. Is Tell Big, me all about it. Bigfancyproductions.com or joe-schaefer.com or at Texas Joe Schaefer on Twitter. And if you're looking for Miss Kirsten? Oh, you can check out Bakespiration. B-A-K-E-S-P-E-R-A-T-I-O-N dot Tumblr dot com. Beautiful. Thank you so much for spending the evening with us. My name's Kat Davidson. This is Frank. Good night. <laughs>